hello everyone hope you are doing well so in this video we will be seeing about search preference endpoint so we are using search preference to store the preference for the user mainly when user performs search operation and wants to store the same for the future use like for example when applying filters on a page and then searching a product with those filters and if the user saves this search combination for future use then we store this in search preferences so here is the first uh, endpoint that is the create search preference and as the name itself says that it is used to create a search preference so for this this is the payload like we have provided search preference id and user search preference id uh, type id that is pin job so we are providing this payload and in response we will be getting a success message and the search preference id it will be a unique id all the time like for this id we have created a search preference and this is the id for that search preference that is created successfully so along with creating search preference user search preference is also created so user search preferences associate search preference with the user also we could share the search preference value in an array which is serialized by stringifying it so recommended way would be use the uh, json dot stringify method to set the user preference this is the endpoint and we provide this as payload the user preference type id that is bopis preference and i have provided some user preference value that is show shipping orders and its value will be true and show packing slip its value will be false so as i will be sending this a new user preference is set and if we want to check this user preference then we can check this by using the get user preference uh, endpoint so as we have created this user preference over here so i will be providing this payload over here uh, where i will be providing user preference type id and it will be the same that we have provided here that is bopis preference and as i will be sending it it will be showing the values that we have set previously so if i just replace this with a new value let's say product sku just send it and after this here we can see that a product sku as user preference we are getting so in this way we are setting the user preference and we can see it by getting by this endpoint this thing is actually achieved in one of our app and as we to move towards its setting page here is a button called for uh, shipping orders basically it's a toggle so as i untoggle it this endpoint is uh, called and these are the payload and in response we are getting this it means a user search preference is created same for this so in this way a user preference is also created now we will be seeing about uh, the update search preference endpoint so it takes payload like this search preference id and the search preference value as we send this we are getting a message called search preference updated successfully 
so a live example for this will be this suppose we are having a few jobs over here i want this job to be pinned down so for this i will be using the search preference uh, endpoint and when i pin it the update search preference endpoint is called and the search preference id of the of this job is 10016 and the value is this and in response it will be providing this message the search preference updated successfully and we are able to see this below down so basically this is how the search preference endpoint actually works hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching this video